As the cold gray dawn was breaking over an ancient Wexford town, three patriotic heroes were led forth in fetters bound. Because they loved their country and served her night and day. Before they faced the rifles, this is what they boys did say. Take away my blood-stained bandage from off a night. We fought and bled for Ireland, we will not shirk it now. We've held her in her struggle, in an answer to her call. And because we sought to free her, we were placed again. The wall. Jim Parrell from Clover Valley, John Crean from Tamal, Pat Hogan from Mount Wexford, a true born Irish son. They've sprinkled out with their blood for freedom stay and before they face the rifles this is what those brave boys say take away the blood stained bandage from off an Irish brown we fought we fled for Ireland, we will not shirk it now. We've held her in her struggle, and in answer to her call, and because we sought to free her, we were placed against the wall. Ned Daly, Houston, Colburn, McDonough and McBride, McDermott and the brothers Kent, with Clark and Plunkett died. McMallon, Pat and Willie Pierce, a hundred and Kent, the last of all, James Conley, this message to them sent. Take away the blood-stained bandage from off an Irish brow. We fought and bled for Ireland. We have held her in her struggle and an answer to her call. And because we sought to free her, we were placed against the wall. Take away the blood stained bandage from off a night. Brown. We fought and bled for Ireland, we will not shirk it now. We have held her in her struggle, in an answer to her call, because we saw 
power to free her We were placed against the wall